All right, guys, this is my transformation for the year 2018. I have some really, really big goals right now. And this is the first time that I'm checking in. You see, I'm using this STYKU machine. It's something that the personal trainers at my gym have. And, uh, you know, this little clay dude is me, okay? Basically, you stand on a little platform. It spins you in a circle. Uh, a laser will go ahead and take all of your measurements of your body and it will also combine with your height and your weight give you an idea of you know caloric needs uh you know body fat percentage etc okay uh when i went in there you know and it says that my body fat percentage is 17.5 percent ah that's a little bit high i don't think i'm that high and as a matter of fact the trainer said the same thing he says he would have put me more at like 14. you know i'm not ripped but i'm not that fat but that's not really the important thing, okay? The important thing here is this. As you can see, every green line is one of the measurements that it took, okay? As you can see, I'm not flexing at all, okay? Especially like my biceps, you know, my arms are straight, not bent. You know, I'm not flexing even my thighs or, or, or anything. You know, I'm just standing there. However, you know, when you think about it, as long as it takes the same measurements in the same way, I will still be able to tell very accurately if parts of my body are getting bigger or smaller. You know, think of it like, um, you know, think of it like a clock. You know, if your watch says it's 11 and my watch says it's 3 in the afternoon and the proper time is actually 12 noon and we say we're going to meet somewhere in 15 minutes, you know, you'll think it's 11 to 15. I'll think it's, you know, 3.15. It's really going to be 12.15, but it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, you know, whether your watch is right or not, you know, 15 minutes from now is 15 minutes from now. And it's the same thing here. You know, I don't have, um, what does it say, biceps. I don't have, like, my right bicep isn't 14 inches. It's bigger than that, I hope. But if I keep measuring it in the same position and it goes above 14 inches, then I'll realize that I'm growing, you know, my bicep. So let's take a look at some of my stats. Uh, bicep left, bicep right are 13.67, 14.01. My left is only smaller than my right, which is weird because I'm left-handed. Okay, calf left, calf right, they're both 15.41 inches. Chest, 39.57. Um, and uh, where is my waist? Waist abdominal. Okay, that's the measurement around my waist at the level of my navel, which is how I measure it myself and how I have my personal training clients measure it, you know, with a tape measure at home, and it's 32.44. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye on some of these measurements and see exactly what happens. Um, you know, I'd like to get my chest and especially my back, man, I need to work a lot on my back, you know, work about a lot on my strength for my pull-ups. You know, um, so I'd like that to get bigger. The thing is, however, you know, you need to figure you have a lot of fat on your back and a lot of fat on your chest. So if I lose weight, you know, lose fat, it may stay the same. It may even get smaller. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm losing muscle, okay? So what I do, I did this when I did my uh, anaerobics transformation, and I'm doing this same thing now, is I worry about performance. I work out and I try to increase my athletic ability, okay? And I diet, basically I eat just enough to fuel my body and enough to, you know, come back stronger for the next workout. And I figure by doing this, you know, I'm going to look like somebody who does this work. You know, for instance, the anaerobics uh, transformation, I tried to get really lean. And I, you know, was like, if I do these workouts and I keep my diet in check, I'm going to be ripped. And that's what ended up happening. And it's the same thing here. I want to increase my strength in a lot of... Um, movements and if i reach those strength goals you know i'm going to look like somebody who can you know perform those movements so you know that's basically how i'm working i'm just you know going to keep an eye once a month get one of these scans just to keep an eye on see what's how my body is responding to it as well but my goals are all really performance related how much weight i can lift not um you know appearance related very interesting thing i thought here is um, as long as I at 5'9 have a waist smaller than um, 35 inches, it says I'm going to be safe from any kind of uh, issues, you know, any kind of uh, medical issues. It also says that I'm, I'm healthier than 70% of the people in the world. 
So, yeah, that's very interesting. You know, to, you could have, I think I'm kind of overweight and I still supposedly am in the top 30% of people. So let's see what we can do. All right, body composition. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is 100% true, 100% accurate, but supposedly I'm like 18% body fat. And up, up here it says uh, my body is made of 34 pounds of fat mass and 158 pounds of non-fat mass, okay? What I'd like to do is weigh a total of 190 pounds and I'd like to have 175 pounds of that to be lean mass, okay? 175 pounds lean, 15 pounds of fat, total 190 pounds. And um, that should put me right around 8% body fat. All right, guys, like I said, this is the first scan that I did. I just want to um, you know, show you I'm going to do the same thing. I already made the appointment in four weeks. And for the next four weeks, I'm going to stay on the pure protein diet and just see how lean I can get. So let's see if I can uh, you know, get this 32 and a half inch waist down a little bit lower in the next four weeks.